Eric Moabeth, mother .com. Now we are all familiar with some Fibonacci numbers, the obvious one being 61.8. And of course, as a derivation of that, we also have 38.2. Now all these numbers are very familiar with investors. That the actual number is not 30 for the lower level. The actual number is 30.9. And for the higher level on the RSI, I propose, and I've been proposing, that the number is not 17. It is actually, factually, 69.1. Now, amazing things happen. For example, here, we can see when we stayed above 69.1, we pretty much were on an upward trend until we broke down back below it here. And then we move back above 69.1 again. And evidence of strength can be seen by the price movement. Prices go higher until we break back below 69.1. So really what I'm saying here is areas where you have the RSI trading above 69.1, for the most part, tend to be bullish. Now there's opposite. Whenever you see an instrument trading below 30.9, what happens is that it means that it is bearish. It's going to stay bearish until it gets out of this level. Here's proof. You can see here we were trading at, let's call it about $13 or more, mid-teens. We stay below 30.9. We try to move above it here but we are rejected twice and that's just under ten dollars since that double rejection when trying to move back above 30.9 stock moves from 10 to the lows here around three so which means that as long as the rsi on the monthly continues to be trading below 30.9 the instrument is still under downside pressure and if the instrument is to start building and getting out of this recent lows, the first order of business is for the monthly RSI to move above 30.9. So, it's another way of saying that as long as an instrument is stuck in this range, the best thing to do is to figure out opportunities to take a short position. Evidence of this, again, can be shown clearly if we really just keep it as simple as possible when we come here and we try to move above 30.9 you see we get rejected that rejection even though it might have seemed very innocent was good enough to move the stock from let's say nine ten dollars to the lows here of about three dollars that's a substantial pullback based on simple understanding of the value of the rsi based on fibonacci numbers that derived from Fibonacci numbers where we use 30.9. Now let's take a look at the weekly in the current setup. Take a look at the weekly and what you see from the weekly chart is there's a reason to start looking for resistance here on the weekly because essentially what is happening is ever since we broke down on the weekly time frame which is this movement here we are coming back essentially to test that line now we've been at some point we try to move above this line here we got rejected that was a good short opportunity and we are coming back to test it failure to move above the red line is indication that one can still be looking for reasons to be short this instrument based on the fact that the monthly rsi continues to trade below 30.9 now, recall from the RSI on the monthly, we've been trading below 30.9 on the monthly RSI throughout this process on the weekly. So we pretty much, for the most part, RSI on the monthly has been below 30.9 throughout this time period. And here is where we saw that double top rejection when it tried to move above 30.9 on the monthly. So maybe we should take a look at that chart one more time. So you can see that since about, let's call it about September, 
of 2016 the RSI has been trading below 30.9 and the double top we saw on the weekly is this level here where on the monthly we got rejected when trying to move above 30.9 so let's go back to the weekly chart and we can see from October of 2016 so pretty much from somewhere here all this time period on the monthly we are trading and still holding below 30.9 which is also another indication that stocks can be very bearish for a long time and we can actually even take a look at this chart and we can see that this rejection here on the weekly is consistent with a prior break this break here of the highs on the weekly goes back to the levels there at about let's call it lower 30s we take that break which is like what I call uniformity resistance and draw a line right there now it so happens to be since we are talking about Fibonacci numbers that this red line happens to be just slightly below 61.8 also we can see that clearly we come and test this line twice we get rejected each time lots of information on these charts now let's take a look at the daily now, the daily is also if we draw our line I'm gonna draw it somewhere around there you'll notice this line is just around the 61.8 level notice that recently we've come to hit that line twice that's a double top rejection around the 61.8 level the same line happens to be where we have uniform activity rejection which is that high again another top and you can actually see that this also is relevant because it corresponds with this trend line break there so all this is pretty much me trying to show you how we can use Fibonacci series numbers to trade the RSI for more information take a look I'll be providing links in the description of the video Eric Moore with mother.com as always good luck peace and blessings e I see. Yes.